so now you can ask me how to design or how to implement higher order filter right because i told you there is a problem with a lower order filter so then we are moving to higher order filter so how can we design this it's very easy higher order filters can be designed by just cascading the first order filter first order low pass filters together so this is one first order uh, low pass filter and this is another low pass filter i am just cascading them together in series then it becomes second order filter so this is called first stage or first pole and this is called the second pole or second stage this is a second order filter if i want third order filter what should i do for third order filter i have to add one more low pass filter so that is a one more r and then one more capacitor in the parallel then it will become third order filter so for the second order filter what is happening v out is equal to v in times 1 divided by square root of 2 remember this this i told you in the previous uh, i think somewhere i had uh, given this uh, this is the 0.707 that is the 1 divided by square root of 2 times v in that is the v out and uh, this is for the first order filter for the second order filter the v in is the same but we are getting one more one divided by square root 2 so that is what uh, mentioned here so for the second order filter what will be the output so v in times 1 divided by square root 2 uh, square root another multiplied by 1 divided by square root 2 so now what is the value of the uh, output so it will become v in divided by 2 that is equal to 1 divided by 2 that is 0.5 times v in uh, so output is 0.5 times of input it means the output is getting reduced more and more so the output is getting reduced more and more so instead of falling down here for the second order filter maybe it will start to fall down here because the 3 db minus 3 db level become minus 6 db so so this is what i mean so for the each order filter you are multiplying by 1 divided by square root of 2 towards the input so each one is having this one so that is why this one will go down the go down and then the the curve will start to fall down quite fast so if we generalize the formula then the output of nth order filter is v out is equal to v in v in times 1 divided by square root of 2 to the power n so this is nothing but 1 divided by square root of e to the power n times v in so if i apply a second order filter then the n value is 2 then what will happen then it will be 1 by 2 times v in that is 0.5 v in if i use the three, third order filter third order then n value will become 3 then you can just calculate mathematically how the output will change so the output value get more and more less for the high frequencies in higher order filters so if we cascade more poles one pole is equal to one single rc low pass filter then the output will reach zero faster that is what we want in the low pass filter design uh, attenuate higher frequency signals sharply okay so now we know how to design the higher order filter higher order low pass filter but now we can talk one more thing uh, that is practically is it easy to implement the higher order, higher order filter the answer is actually no it's not really so second cascade stage can give the loading effect to the first cascade stage uh, the first stage so if you have a one more stage then that will be the that will give the loading effect to the second stage so we have to choose more accurate r2 and c2 values then you have to do so many iterations and simulations 
practically it's not quite uh, quite a good solution to have this kind of higher order higher order filter for example here i told you if i want to achieve the fall more sharper then i have to go to sixth order filter then it means i am connecting six poles six stages so it also increase it will increase the number of components and the cost for the user so that's not a very uh, nice solution and also we have the problem of loading effect so for the, how can we avoid the loading effect we discussed in the previous lecture if you have any loading problem between two circuits circuit 1 circuit 2 i asked you to use the op amp as a voltage follower so the op amp will easily this is minus and this is plus and then you were just going to give a negative feedback when you use the operational amplifier as a voltage follower voltage follower or buffer between these two stages then the operational amplifier will isolate these two stages avoid the loading effect and it will uh, help us in different ways i uh, will tell you now how to do that um, so where we are uh, we were here so we have to choose more accurate uh, r to c2 so the best solution for this problem is to use active filters so i according to the definition of active filters we are using either transistors or operational amplifiers in the filter design or operational amplifier then the passive filter will become active filter right so i am going to put this operational amplifier as a voltage follower between these be, between these two circuit so i can achieve i can avoid the problems but at the same time i convert this passive filter into active filter so uh, by introducing this operational amplifier between them it gives two important advantages first one is it acts as a buffer to isolate from loading effect and also it has own gain so we know operational amplifier has its own gain remember a value so what the uh, what the gain value can do to the input signal so whatever the value you apply at the input this is the sorry this is the operational amplifier it has a, a gain value so whatever the value you, you apply at the input at the output you will get the amplified signal so if you apply 1 volt you will get at the output maybe 5 volt or 6 volt so it's up to the gain of the amplifier right so it will amplify the input so i think remember i just go back to the slide we had seen okay i had taken out already when we talk about the passive filter i told you we apply 1 volt at the input at the output we are getting 0.9 volt in the example and here i told you 1 volt we are applying the active filter and the at the output we are getting 2 volt why because it's using the amplifier element that is the operational amplifier for example so that is what mentioned here we try to connect to what we had seen in the previous slide so it it provides two advantages it isolates and it provides the gain to the input voltage it amplify the input at the output so now we will move to the rc uh, high pass filter but before that so far what we had seen we had seen rc low pass filter passive so because we are not using any active elements in the design so this is that is why it's called a passive or see no possibility